Hi, client. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Well, I'm okay, um, but I'm not sure that I can breastfeed. I, you know, I'd planned on doing it, but I just kind of feel like it's, it's not going to be, it's not going to work for me. Oh, why is that? Well, I just don't think that I'm making enough for him and I'm worried about him. I don't think that I'm using, I think that maybe I need to get into using formula instead. It's unfortunate, but I just don't think I'm producing enough. Oh yeah, I can see you're worried. Um, I'm, you know, feeling like you're not making enough can be really rough too. That's, that's, that's a tough feeling to have this early on. Um, and it's concerning when you don't know if you're feeding your baby enough. Uh, what makes you think that you uh, have a low milk supply? Well, it's been four days now and my milk hasn't come in yet. All I'm getting is this clear yellowy fluid and it's not very much of it. Um, I asked my mom about it, but she bottle fed all of us. So she doesn't really know very much about it, but she suggested that maybe I could just do formula as a, a supplement, but still try to breastfeed and see what happens. If I, you know, if my milk will ever come in, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I see. The nice thing about using formula is you do know exactly how much you're giving your baby and that alone can be really reassuring, especially when you're already concerned about how much they're getting. Um, but I do have some other suggestions for you. Um, if you're open to it, that would be a little more um, helpful to get you, you know, successful with your uh, breastfeeding um, plans. Is that something that you'd like to, you know, learn a little bit more about first? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I do want to breastfeed. I just, you know, I'm just not feeling like it's something that I can do, but I would like to hear other suggestions if you have them. Okay, cool. So first of all, to make you feel a little bit better about what you are producing right now, that's a normal thing called colostrum. Um, it's really rich in fats and it's what your baby needs right now to help grow and be healthy and a happy little boy. Um, and you don't need very much of it because it's so rich. A little bit of it goes a long way. And also keep in mind your baby's tummy is like this big. So there's not really very much that your baby can really take in anyways. So the amount that you're producing is very likely the perfect amount for your little boy. Um, and you know, you're a first time mom, I know. So mm -hmm. it can take like five days to a weekish for your milk to actually come in. This is day four. So it's not unusual for you still to have the colostrum and not really necessarily the milk yet. Um, so with that being said, does that all make sense? Are you following me so far? Yeah, I understand, but how long does it take to get used to it, to breastfeeding? What do you mean? Well, every time I feed him, it hurts. And I'm just, you know, I'm just waiting. I assume that, you know, after a while, I kind of toughen up and I stop feeling it anymore. I just wanted to know when that would happen. Okay, so your nipples hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's, I would like to take a look at how he's latching then, because really you should not be feeling pain while you're feeding him. That's, um, it should be a pretty pleasant experience actually. Um, but it's usually just an issue with latching. So if you're comfortable, I'd like to take a look. Let's see if we can get him on you and take a look at what, you know, what position he's in and see if we can help you out. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do that. So um, basically what I do then in this, at this point is take a look at, you know, how he's latched and come to find out he is just kind of suckling on the nipple and he's not really getting a good chomp down in and his lips aren't flared, obviously, because he's too far out. So I teach her how to um, get a good, nice chomp on there and latch with the lips out and things to look for um, and how to properly support her up to where he's able to put, be in the good position for proper uh, nursing. So then I'm gonna go back into being her. Um, wow, that feels so much better. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. It's so nice to not be in pain while I'm nursing. I love seeing this relief on your face. Oh, that's great. So do you still feel like you wanna explore some other alternatives to feeding, supplementation or, or whatever else you have? Or do you, are you feeling a little bit more confident now? In your abilities. 
Um, I do feel so much better, actually. Thank you. Um, I was sure that there was something wrong with me or that, you know, I, I don't know. But it's so good to know that everything is normal and that I just needed to adjust a couple things. And it was a simple, easy fix. So I'm happy for that. Okay, fantastic. So I'm glad that you're feeling confident um, and you know you feel like you can do this again. Um, why don't we continue focusing on that latch and just making sure that he's getting the right latch every time and if not, take him off and put him back on again um, until you get it. And then we'll keep in touch over the phone. Um, and if in a couple days you're still having you know issues or new things arise, then I'd be happy to come back and you know take a look at whatever it is that we need to do. Um, how does that sound? Yes, that sounds perfect. Thank you.